Hello everyone, my name is Andre Tautisechan, and here with me is Stephanie Natasha. First and foremost, I'd like to note that a major part of this presentation will be done in English, as my advice is from the international class, and it is also the language I am most comfortable with. With that, I'd like to formally introduce myself and Stephanie as the second presidential pair candidate of this year's Himpunan Mahasiswa elections. Here's a short list of some of the materials that will be brought up in today's presentation. All topics will be discussed further in the coming slides. So our vision is to realizing the potential of HMPP as an organization that strives to bring out the best qualities of innovation and insight in hospitality students. And our mission is first to venerate the name of UPH and its hospitality management study program by executing operational function with consistency and responsibility. Two, to fulfill the role as the intermediary between the students and the faculty. And three, to maintain healthy relations with the various clubs under the umbrellas of UPH's hospitality management study program. Here, we have a brief overview of the work program that we've devised and will carry out over the next academic year. Of course, as it did this year, some are subject to change with certain circumstances that we cannot predict at the moment. However, as best as possible, we will abide by the schedule presented here, starting with the welcoming by faculty and academic showcase in mid-August to welcome the new batch of 2020. The next event will be the basic leadership training in October, right before clubs and organizations start their open recruitment. After the semester 1 final exams, we plan to include charity work in the month of December. Then, as the new semester starts, so does the internal competition. Before we start with the explanation of each work program, I'd like to draw everyone's attention to the graph I've provided. Here on this graph, you'll see the daily amount of new COVID-19 cases against the daily amount of cured patients. As you can see, the line for newly infected is no longer rising. Therefore, it is merely a matter of time before more people are cured than infected on a daily basis. With the current total number of cases being just above over 2.5 million, and with extrapolated data assuming the recoveries would outweigh the infections by mid-June, the pandemic is predicted to mostly, if not fully, subside by the end of 2020. Now for the first program is welcoming by faculty. It's an annual event that purpose to introduce the lecturers and other members to the new student that they will meet on a day-to-day -day basis. It also includes the standard grooming video that entails the proper dress code of various classes with a hospital curriculum. And now we also implement a new normal standard grooming, especially for our practical classes like F&B service, pastry, and kitchen. The new normal such as and temperature check, washing hand before practicum class, use hand sanitizer, hand glove, mask, and face shields. And for the FNB service, we use food cover and also some show. And for the academic showcase, so academic showcase is one of the hand prepared program that run yearly. It's the time for us to make sure that the new student know well what will be going on in our study program. On this occasion, we will introduce our clubs to the new students like gastronomy, BNP, mixology, and another new club which is barista and service. So they will show off their club's program. Also, they will ask some representative from the new student to try it and they will read it how to do it. And we also have an alter alternative for academic showcase if this pandemic still appear and our learning system still online based, but the new student can still get the essence of this program. Our plan B is we will try to make this online learning run actively for both sides, which means that not only we as the organization and committee are more active, but we ask the new student to take part of it. So we not only the one who give the topic, but they need to show us about their idea in one short duration video. And maybe we will ask them to post it in Instagram, as we all know that Instagram is one of the major media social right now. We also ask them to use some hashtag that we will prepare it, and we hope that from that our marketing can affect it. For the details, we can say that first we will discuss it 
to all the clubs and they will share some information regarding their clubs. Maybe each club can choose some representative to make and show some example videos for the new student. Or they can also share some recipe or other information like life hack, tips and tricks, or information about substitutes ingredients. What we plan it's not only for some clubs, but we try to make this plan can be run for all the clubs. What I've explained it lately, it's all about making some unique and easy product in their homes. But this plan, it can be run for the service club too. We can teach them how to fold up some napkin into many shapes. And maybe if they don't have any napkin, we can give them idea to use any fabric or like handkerchief. So every new student can choose one type of video that they want to make. Is it that related to gastronomy, BNP, mixology, barista, or service? Actually, our purpose is to make sure that the new student will know, not only know, but they also can try it by themselves, and at least they will know their own interests, so it will help them decide which club they want to join in the future. Or maybe if they want to focus about handle on organization, they can join Hand Papa as well. Next is a very memorable event for those of you who take in. Basic leadership training is a necessary precursor to joining any organization, may it be HM or clubs. As is per usual, this event is done in collaboration with HM Ubewe, combining the 2020 batches of both faculties. However, due to the pandemic, we've had to adjust our plans to suit the unfortunate situation. In the case of the viral outbreak being suppressed enough for us to physically attend the university, we plan to implement the same new normal practicum to the leadership training, which includes obligatory face masks and the training being done in smaller patches. If worse comes to worse and the pandemic has yet to recede, the leadership training will be conducted online through supervised batches. Activities will be done in the respective groups and be mediated by a mentor that the HM will train beforehand. Now on to charity. Charity is always important, especially in such a crucial time of need. It's a topic a lot of people mention regularly, but with little to no action being taken. This year, we're changing that. Under the name of Upeha, we plan to conduct a cooperative activity for both the clubs and HM of the hospitality industry. Think of it as corporate social responsibility, but on a smaller scale. The details of the plan will be fleshed out over the coming months as we survey the situation and possible activities and destinations. Finally, we come to the last of the planned activities. The internal competition is a club-centric contest that is essentially used to prepare club members for future competitions. It is friendly yet competitive enough to familiarize all the participants to the atmosphere of pressure in an actual competition. Considering the COVID-19 graph I've shown earlier, it would hopefully mean that this internal competition in January of 2021 can be carried out normally as it would be extremely beneficial for the clubs and its members to experience. Thank you for listening. You can vote for your next Ketua Himpunan Mahasiswa down in the link below.